Hello again, boys and girls. We're going to do religion now. And we're still in the Easter season and May. So we have our pictures of Mary and Jesus here. If you notice, there is one more picture that you haven't seen yet. Right, this one. And that is the picture of Jesus going to heaven, the story I'm going to read you now. The story that we heard yesterday was called the Great Commissioning. And that's when Jesus told the apostles that he would be leaving them. And they're like, again? Oh, but well, you know why? You just got back. Okay, well, he's been back now for 40 days, right? He rose from the dead on Easter Sunday, and it's been 40 days. And they're like, well, why? Where do you have to go? It's like, I have to go to heaven and make a place for all of you. But I'll be back one day. But you guys have a special job to do. And that was the Great Commission. He was telling them now to go out and gather people just the way he did. Remember when he first met Peter and Andrew and James and John, and they were fishing in the boat, and he said, come, follow me. I will teach you how to gather people instead of fish. And he did that all that time that Jesus was with them. They were gathering more followers, more disciples, and teaching them all about God's love and how we should love each other. So now Jesus is giving that special job to the apostles. So, of course, they feel a little scared and nervous that he's leaving them, and they're kind of like in charge now, and they want to do a good job, and they don't want to let him down, right? So, we're going to hear the story now called The Ascension. Ascend means to go up. So, we're going to hear the story about how Jesus ascended into heaven. And I'm going to read you two versions. Some, they're a little different. The pictures are good. I'll start a little bit from yesterday. Jesus said, God has given me complete power over heaven and earth. Go and tell everyone the good news. Make new disciples, so new followers. Baptize them and teach them to obey my commandments. So he wants them to teach them to live the way he taught people how to live, with kindness and love. And don't forget, I will always be with you. Go to Jerusalem and wait there, said Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come to you. He will give you power to tell people about me. Now the time has come for me to go to heaven. Do not be afraid. Then Jesus went up toward heaven into the clouds. His disciples stared at the sky for a long time. All of a sudden, two angels appeared. They asked, Why are you standing here looking at the sky? Jesus will return the same way you saw him go. And all this time, I've been looking at the door. Then the disciples remembered what Jesus said. They returned to Jerusalem, and they waited for the Holy Spirit to come. the other book. Similar, a little different. Jesus led his friends to a place on top of the hill near Bethany. He lifted his hands up and blessed them. Tell other people about me, he said. And then he went up into the sky. A cloud hid him so his friends could not see him. They stood there looking up at the sky for a long time. Right, maybe they're thinking, oh, this is just one of his miracles. He'll be back down in a minute. All of a sudden, two angels stood beside them. Why are you looking into the sky, asked the angels. Jesus has gone to heaven. Someday he will come back the same way you saw him leave. Then the friends went back to the city with, their, with joy in their hearts. What do you think they have joy in their hearts for? Because they have hope. Jesus said he was coming back and he promised that he would send the Holy Spirit. Jesus had taught them many things. They would always remember that he said, Don't worry or be afraid. Trust in God and trust in me. In God's house, there are many rooms. I will go make you a place there. Someday I will come back and take you with me. Okay, so... Now Jesus has ascended into heaven. His friends are probably have a mixed feelings. They're probably 
a little sad because they're going to miss him. He's gone forever to them. But he promised, so they have hope that he would be back. But they're also probably a little scared and a little nervous. Like, all right, what is this Holy Spirit thing he keeps saying he's going to send? And we have a really important job to do. We don't want to let him down. We want to do a good job, right? So they have some responsibility there. Um, I'm also sending you a video clip where you can, where you'll be able to watch the story. And here is a picture of, okay, 40 days after he rose from the dead, Jesus went back to heaven. He promised to send his spirit, and that's called Ascension Thursday. So if we were in school tomorrow, or today for you, we would be going to church because Ascension Thursday is a holy day of obligation. That's one of those, those days we go to church. And here he is, and there's, there's Mary, his mother, and the apostles. Which, of course, I'm sure she's sad too, but she knows that they'll be together again and that he's going to heaven with God where he should be. Okay, so the Easter season doesn't officially end until this Holy Spirit comes. So we're going to hear that story next Friday um, because it will happen on the 31st. It's a Sunday. It's called Pentecost. And that will end the Easter season. The Easter season is the longest of all of the liturgical seasons. Okay, so remember yesterday, here's where he's talking to the apostles. Here's where he's talking to Peter, saying, you know, you're going to go out and, and, and be the shepherd now. You take care of my sheep. Okay, and here is Jesus ascending into heaven. Let's see. Okay, so for religion, you will color Jesus ascending into heaven. All right, boys and girls, see you in a little while for science. Um, we're going to uh, do something with that seed that I sent home, okay?